Uh, item number two, committee to report findings and recommendations on annex building <coughs> regarding mold issue. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I've served on a committee regarding the uh, mold issue over at the annex building. Uh, the committee consists of Commissioner Pelt, Commissioner Cooper, Jackie Ellis, Misty Whitney, and myself. Uh, prior to Judge Carraway appointing the committee, he had a consultant come in, uh, do some mold, uh, some air testing over there for, for mold because of the uh, visible mold that we could see over in the, uh, especially in the Wick area and other areas of the annex building. So that mold uh, testing from that consultant showed that we should, uh, or showed high levels of, of uh, mold spores in the WIC area and the crime victims area. And they recommended uh, that we move those personnel out of, the, out of that area. So Judge Carraway took uh, action immediately and moved the personnel out of those two areas, which is the WIC department and uh, crime victims. Uh, after that, the committee was appointed and we asked a, uh, another consultant to come in for a second opinion and they, they agreed that that's what we should do and so that's the uh, steps that we've taken uh, since then we've had some other uh, companies come in to look to see what it would take to correct the mold problem that we have in the annex building uh, provided you with a report uh, you know, basically we had uh, a company come in uh, total safety was the second consultant that we had to uh, air testing over there for mold uh, they brought a contractor in called AAR incorporated and they gave a uh, budgetary figure of $450,000, and that just includes the mold remediation, which will also uh, entail some asbestos abatement. And that's to take the ceiling <clears throat> out of the building over there. The uh, two-pipe system has uh, got asbestos insulation around it. It's going to be quite costly to take all of that out. And then the flooring uh, that has mold in, in it and the carpet over there, in order to take that out, it's, uh, it's glued down to tile flooring that also includes asbestos. So. That's the uh, price that we received from them. Now that only includes the uh, remediation and the abatement. <clears throat> uh, that doesn't include any remodeling to put it back so that we could uh, reoccupy the, those areas again after they take the, the material out. So we had uh, Daniel's Construction come out. Uh, again, both of these companies came out at no charge to us to provide these estimates. <clears throat> uh, they gave us a quote of $670,000 to do the uh, remodel. Uh, that's to install new flooring new uh, ceiling and, and new walls in the areas that are affected that would be uh, uh, remediated and then abated by AAR or what the, the AAR identified that needed to be remediated or abated. We also had a uh, uh, engineer come in and tell us what we would need to do in order to uh, correct the problem so we don't have this or face this again in the future. The old uh, antiquated heat and air system that we have over there is, is, the, is the cause of the, of the mold problem that we have. And uh, he gave us an estimate, <clears throat> four or five different options, and I have those listed there. Uh, so in summary, that it would take somewhere between 1.6 and 2.05 million to remediate that building and correct, take the corrective actions needed to ensure that we don't continue to have a mold problem. Uh, now that figure only addresses the mold issue. There's other issues over there with electrical and things like that that uh, is not included in these figures. Uh, our committee met last Monday. Uh, we, we discussed uh, all of the options. It's our recommendation that we uh, proceed with building a new building for the courthouse annex. I believe that we could probably do so for less than the figure that we have here estimated to fix the current building, which is 60 years old. So that's our recommendation to the court is that we look into building a new annex building on one of our properties here next to the courthouse. Mr. Wayne, how many, uh, I see you've got <coughs> a few of them that's relocated. How many more is left to be relocated? How many more departments? There, there's no others at this time. Uh, just the crime victims and the WIC department are, are they're displaced right now. Uh, the, the goal is to move the uh, school the JJAEP school over to the uh, courthouse on the third floor. Once that room is vacated, we will uh, fix that so that the WIC and crime victims can move into that area. And then that's where they will operate until hopefully the new building is built and everybody moves at one time to the new <coughs> building. Okay, I guess I asked the question wrong. How many, how many do we have <coughs> to replace if the building is torn down? How many more do, needs to be replaced? 
Well, you have the Indigent Health Care Department there, also the uh, County Health Department, uh, Soil Conservation. You have uh, DPS, Driver's License. Uh, HUD has got a couple of offices over there. We have the Senior Citizen Nutrition Program that uh, operates out of that building, as well as WIC, Crime Victims, and uh, Extension That's Agent. Okay, I see there. And Veteran no, Services. I see there is no recommendation how to place them if the building is tore down till we build a new one. I see there's no recommendation what to do with those. Well, the, I think the goal uh, that our committee come up with was to build a new building and then move them all at one time, and then we would address tearing down the old building after that. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, I guess I'm just a cart ahead of the horse. I thought we were going to tear the old building down first. No. Okay. No, that building would stand for some time. We're going to run into a lot, a lot of issues also in uh, tearing that building down. Right. A lot of monetary issues and other issues, so we, okay. we're pushing that. Well, ain't there, after ain't, we get ain't something, one of the one of those rooms got a head in it. Yes. Well, there's no telling what's in that. Yeah. Okay. That's, well, I I guess I hadn't thought about building a new building before the old one was tore down. I I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, yes, we, from what we, we talked about is we've looked at some other uh, other properties over over here next to the courthouse that we would build well, this I, new that building. That's my next question. Yes, sir. What, do we we don't have enough pro uh, room we we, we we do. Yeah, Bobby, well, we've got uh, and. Uh, I don't know whether the commissioners have seen the map or not. Do all of them have one? No, I, I Anyway, I see, just to take a look, here's where we are at present. This is the courthouse we're in right here. And everything you see in blue, if that's blue, that's county property. So I, I think we have plenty adequate property to build because that old hospital built in 1954 is uh, well, we're talking about 33,000 square feet, but I back, actually I think it's been measured as something like 43,000 square foot in that building. <clears throat> and looks like we're occupying probably about 10,000 square feet of a 43,000 square foot building. The rest of it's filled with junk. The old operating rooms are still there intact. The morgue is still there. And where you're talking about the lead, the x-ray room is, everything's just like they walked out of it just about except it's all been filled with a lot of records and things like this. And <clears throat> it's the belief of the committee, and this is what the court will make a decision, and we're going to be asking today to authorize going out for RFPs for an architect to determine that can meet with the different departments and stuff and determine how much space we do need. It's probably going to be less than 12,000 square feet. And then based upon that and you know that figure then we can find a, make a final determination the court can as to where <clears throat> we need to build a new building or remodel over here well everything right now looks like it would be certainly in the county's advantage to build a new building but the court i don't believe will make that final decision until after we've secured an architect and gone through all this. Well, that, that was the main question that I've had asked to me around Lumberton. Yeah. If we build a new building, where's it going to be? It'd probably be over in this area over here somewhere. We have lots of property. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and that's something else the architect will tell us. Yeah. Is, is which property would be best to uh, utilize for this, and we would want to be sure that we uh, prepare for you know future expansion of that building as well as needed. And it would certainly be a different type building than this old rambling building over here. It'd be much more functional for the public, uh, for the people that are working there. And this is what an architect, he can look at all our property, visit with all the department people and see what our needs are, and then come back with a recommendation and also a cost estimate. You know, we believe it'd be cheaper to build than to, even, to remodel that old facility over there. And even after you remodel it, we there, 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 there's no doubt there. That, that's what I can hear from everybody. Yeah. But the question is, where is it going to be located? That's that was <clears> probably <throat> right over in this area over here that where was those my park, main question. parking yes. lots are. It'll still be here in Coons, and it will be uh, here no, probably that across that the street from the courthouse. Was it going to be over here, or was it going to be on that parking lot over there? See, that that was that was. Yeah, I, I just kind of drawn in here possibilities, but architect, but see. This is a parking lot, you remember, we did a few <coughs> years ago by the insurance company. Then, uh, no, right here. Then we have that parking lot. We also have property over here. But a building in here, and we're also 
going to be looking at a separate building for storage. That would be nothing but a storage building. So you'd have storage and then you'd have an office building that would house all the things that we're currently doing over there. Pass that down there, Bobby, have a look at it. But uh, <clears throat> the committee has gone, we feel, as far as we can go with our expertise. We're at the point we need to bring in an architect who can actually sit down with these people, determine what their needs are, come up with the best layout, and come up with some pretty hard figures that the commissioner's court can make a decision upon. Wayne, did DPS uh, driver's license contact me this week, and uh, they want copies of those uh, air quality deals that we did. Okay. That's a uh, carry or something like that. Okay. That kind of give you an idea, Bobby, of what we have here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we're ready to move on to item three. <clears throat> Unless someone has more questions. Okay, item number three, discussion actions and solicit proposals for architect for possible new buildings. Uh, Judge, I would move that we uh, solicit proposals, RFPs, for an architect to do just what I've described a while ago to uh, study the situation and bring back uh, information for the court to make a final decision upon. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. I have a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Moved. We stand adjourned. <clears throat>